What is your perfect day? Hmm. <laughs> I asked that question the other day when we were painting this picture on Paint with Heart. And um, it is a picture of an apple orchard and inside of a really cute textured frame that um, using that we've made using a technique um, that um, uses a paintbrush called a chip brush and uh, so it gives it an aged look um, of wood aged wood <laughs> and um, we also learned how to paint these cute little apples and it was so much fun and of course I have my little apple here for inspiration so um, is perfect day painting with friends on paint with heart or is it talking about memories like picking apples at an apple orchard or maybe even baking with those apples um, a lot of memories about perfect days came to mind and then uh, yesterday I took a day off as a kind of a mental health day, a day to recuperate and rest. And I did some uh, drawing and coloring in my coloring book. And I remembered that that was the limit of art that I used to do before I started taking paint with art classes with Cindy. And, um, you know, that used to be what a perfect day to me would be, which is one that I could relax and color in my coloring book. I have my nearly ears on. So this could be a perfect day for me. So I thought it would be fun to start um, with these cards, different cards this time. Uh, this is the what is your word card deck and it has questions. So I know this is a surprise to you, Cindy, but um, you can draw from this and it has a question. And so like it gets a conversation started, starting, it gets the conversation started. So this one is what is your perfect day? So I thought it'd be fun to talk about what is your perfect day throughout our talk, throughout our session today, and then we can come up with a word that kind of, mod you know, um, exemplifies what we're talked about, and then that will be our word for the week, that we'll have our intention, and intention, I think, is the word you were thinking about before, because Cindy and I like to have an intention for the week, and it helps us keep centered, and um, really kind of solidifies what our focus is. So that's what we'll be doing here on Paint with Heart every week. Perfect day. I would say a perfect day is like maybe, and I always think of weather, sunny, but not too hot, not too cold. So does that mean like 75 degrees? And that would be perfect. You know, 40% humidity, <laughs> because you got to have some, but I don't want a lot. Right. And um, family and friends, it depends how I feel, how I wake up. Sometimes I like to have my day to myself, and sometimes I like to be surrounded with people. But, uh, you know, no stress, no, no drama, just yeah. nice and comfortable, fun, love. Creative is always a good day when I can get my images out of my head and put them on into something that I can look back and say, wow, I did that. I don't know. What do you think, Melissa? I, a perfect day for me has always been like when I could drive someplace, drive to the beach, go for a long drive and not have to be anywhere with no deadlines, you know, just be able to like take as long as I want. And um, just thought, that's like a freedom day for me, you know, free from, from uh, um, obligations and to be able to um, just kind of like make the plan as it unfolds. So kind of a discovery day or, you know, like when you don't really know what you're going to end up doing. I love that. Hello. Hi, what's your perfect day? I'd say traveling with my husband not having a lot of drama and painting. Um, Kathy says mine is the same as Melissa's. <laughs> Christine says a day with my family, no schedule to worry about. So Cindy, yep. how can you make it a perfect day kind of feeling every day? 
<sighs> Wake up with a good attitude. No. <laughs> you can choose to have a good attitude. I say, you know, just, I think, realize. But I just, I just think about how blessed I am. Yeah. A little yeah. gratitude, attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Yeah. And, and know that uh, if I'm feeling down, I have people I can call like you and make me feel better. But yeah, mostly I just wake up and every, what are they, what was there? There was a saying something about any day that I'm, I'm vertical is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> do you think of that word though that that i try to use like what would be a good word for a perfect day that we've been talking about to remind uh -huh. us all week what would be a good word well so we talked a lot about family and travel and um, what do you ladies think huh i, I want to know what they think yeah freedom Cheryl, Pat, Christine. Normal, a normal everyday day. I'm going to say one that you wake up in a good mood. Two things go the way you hope they go. And what's a word that makes you think of that though? Like, so if we want to try to focus on that and bring that back every that feeling every day. Every day. Let's see. Um, no, I want to try to like so that we can remind ourselves every day what would be the word that would make us think of a perfect day, our perfect day. That's what I'm going to do my pod my podcast on tomorrow. How about the how about warmth? Warmth. That warm feeling we get thinking about our perfect day. Because warm, I mean, like I started with temperature. And warm is, a hug is warm. Mm -hmm. You know, a smile is warm. Yes. The, the feeling of friendship gives you warmth. The baking apple pie is warm. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. What do you think, Pat and Christine? Uh, nods. Oh. <laughs> or thumbs up. Either yeah. way. <laughs> I'm trying to show you her her heart. She's right. She wrote a word, I think. Oh, hold on. Let me see. I will spotlight Pat. Do I get a thumbs up, Pat? Nope. I'm alive. alive. Yes. Yeah. I like that one. That one's good. That's that's the that life. Feeling force. friendship, says Christine. Mm. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are into this. Thank you for your feedback and for input. It makes me feel so good. 